Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to get a pulse sensor into your project and read your heart rate during gameplay. Now you'll need several things for this tutorial. You'll need an Arduino board. I'm using my old 2560 Mega but you can use any Arduino board. You need a USB cable to connect it to your computer and you'll need a pulse sensor. The pulse sensor that I'm using is from pulsesensor.com but you could use any one with free pins to plug into your Arduino board. The first thing, we also, we also going to need the Arduino software, which you can download from the Arduino website. You are going to have to make sure that you've got the pulse sensor library installed. I can go to manage libraries here. I can go to libraries and then search for pulse sensor playground. Version 1.6.1 should be sufficient. You'll know this is installed because you can go to sketch up here and you can have a look down here and ensure that that's there. What we'll next do is we'll go into examples here, Pulse Sensor Playground, and look for a project called Getting BPM to Monitor. Now, I don't know that much about Arduinos, but I do know that at the beginning here it will tell you which pins that you need to connect on the Arduino board. The purple wire goes into analog zero and the black and red cables go into ground and five volt respectively. Once that's done it should look like this and you'll need to connect it to your computer using a USB cable. Now we go up to tools, ensure that the correct board is chosen here under board and ensure that we have the correct port active for sending the code across to the Arduino. Once this is done we can press this button to send the code through to our board. It may take some time to get your sketch uploaded, but once it's successfully there, you shouldn't have any errors here, and you should have it done uploading at the bottom of here. And then we can turn on the serial monitor to see what's happening. Ensure the pulse sensor is firmly wrapped around your finger, and you should have an update of a heartbeat happening and the BPM being translated from the pulse sensor. So that's all good from the Arduino side. Close your serial monitor and we can then go into the Unreal side to see what we need for this. Now I'm using this excellent serial communication plugin developed by Arvilliani and Ramiro's lab. And I'll put the link down there at the bottom. This works great and I'll show you exactly how to install this and how to get up and running in a moment. So. From the time of writing, version 5 wasn't working with my Unreal because I'm using 5.0.1. So I'm just going to use 4.27 for this example, but I imagine that if you're using an older version of Unreal 5, or this plugin is going to be updated pretty soon, it's going to be compatible with 5. To get the download, I just click here, download the zip file, and then unzip it. Now the contents of this zip folder have to be copied into your plugins folder, which is located at C Program Files, Epic Games, Engine, Plugins. And then just paste this in. In my case, I've already put this in here. And then we can go ahead and launch Unreal Engine 4.27 and open a project. Now I'm just going to create a third person example, but you can do anything for this one. No starter content blueprint, that's all good. Just give it a quick name. And then we need to activate the plugin. Go to Edit, Plugins, and search here for Serial. Click the Enabled to enable it, and it will restart your Unreal Engine. Once your Unreal has been restarted, we then need to drop a plugin into our project folder to be able to use it in our game. So I can do this by going back into that plugins folder and having a look under blueprints here and getting this asset file, copying it and dropping it into the project that we are using. In my case, my project is in documents, Unreal, Arduino third, and in content, I can simply drop this in here. Once I go back into my Unreal Engine, go back into content, 
this blueprint should be here ready for us to use. I'm going to drag it into our level and I'm going to edit it so we can have a little look and see what's happening here. Now the first thing it's going to do is to check if the port is open. I'm not going to cover the rest of these functions. There's some great tutorials here from Ramiro's lab and some really good documentation for this plugin in general. We're just going to go right ahead and see if we have an open port first. First thing we need to do is set our COM port and our baud rate. I think we were on port 5. I can check this again by going into my Arduino and having a look there and seeing that we're under tools port and seeing that we're on COM 5. So if I change this to 5, I should get a message if this is open telling us that we are connected and port is initialized. I'm just going to compile and save this plugin and then press play. It's telling me there port is initialized and we should be ready to go. Just going to press the escape key there and what we're going to do next is just have a quick look at our Arduino sketch again. Now if you recall whenever we ran it earlier on in the project we were getting some extra information here that we don't need. We don't need a heartbeat has happened. Now my Arduino skills are pretty bad but I do know that two forward slashes is a comment so I'm going to comment out the line where it's saying a heartbeat happened and I'm going to comment out the line that says BPM. I'm just going to comment out this line as well where it says we created a pulse sensor object and upload that onto the board again. Just monitor this again and it should just be reading us our heart rate in numbers. Let's close the serial monitor. Now back into Unreal and we are going to go back into this blueprint. So let's get right into making our Unreal code. Now the primary line we're concerned with is this serial read string. This is going to read the string from the Arduino code and we're going to use this to write to a variable that's going to be based in our widget. And I'll explain to you what all of this means. First of all, we're going to move this serial read string down here. And what we're going to do is make a custom event. We're just going to right click here and search for custom event. This means that this needs to be called in order for the heart, the heart rate to be read from the Arduino. So I'm going to call this heart underscore rate. And I'm going to delay by one second. So I'm just pulling from this pin here and searching for delay and changing the duration to one second. Then I'm going to put this execution pin from completed into serial read string. Now this needs to come from reference and I can get that from up here. I can double click these to neaten these up if I want to. And the next thing we're going to do is just print this to the screen. So I'm going to search for this and do a print string and take the output of this into there. And perhaps change the duration of this to 1. And when this is done, I want this to loop again. So I'm going to pull from here and search for this custom event again. I'm going to search for heart rate. What that's going to do is it's going to print this every second and then repeat itself to do so over and over again. Now what I want to do is to call this heart rate first. You can call this from anywhere. You can have a key that's going to impact this or an event or something in your level that's going to bring this up. But I'm going to get it right from event begin play here. Right after it says port is initialized, I wanted to run this heart rate custom event. And pull a sequence. So I'm going to disconnect the one from the enable input and I'm going to just search for sequence here. First I want this stuff to happen and after that I want to create a widget. So I'm just going to go in here and type create widget. We haven't made the widget yet but I'm going to show you how to do that now. So let's just compile this. It's going to give us an error because the widget's not there. You can minimize this and right click here on the screen, go to user interface and create a widget. And I'm going to use the proper Unreal naming structure here, but I'm just going to call this heart rate widget. And double click this and very quickly make some kind of interface that's going to show our heart rate. So I'm just going to grab this a text from here and drag it into our into our um, designer and down by the font here I'm going to change this up to 30 and I'm going to hit this size to content and I'm going to call this text heart rate colon space 
And I think I'm just going to make a copy of this. You can do this in any way you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this and align these together. And for this one, I'm just going to type in 000. And I am going to bind this one. So I'm just going to go down to next to the text there and just click bind, create binding. It's a good time to give this a sensible name. So I'm just going to click under functions here and call this heart underscore rate again. And I'm also going to create a variable here and call this heart rate int and make this an integer. And I'm going to grab this in here, get it, and send it to our interface. So we've got an integer variable that's been converted to a string here. Of course, as I said before, you can change, you can put the integers into your Arduino code and avoid these conversions. Do that at the Arduino level if you want. I'm just going to compile that. Let's go in here and under this widget that we've pulled from our event begin play, I'm going to give this a name now, heart rate widget, and from the blue pin, I'm going to type in add to viewport, and then we'll connect that to the execution. And also from this, I'm going to get that variable that we've created in the widget. So if I pull from there and search for a get heart rate int, sorry, set heart rate int, and instead of the print string here, which we're going to remove, I'm going to convert this and set it into our variable. Then I'm going to redo that again. Let's compile that and save it. And give that a little go and see how that looks. Let's minimize this out. Make sure the pulse sensor is on your finger and press play. Get the port is, port is initialized message. Once it's on my finger properly, I'm getting the heart rate there coming in. Pop around the room a bit and see that heart rate go up. So there you have it. You have your heart rate coming from the Arduino updated every second and there's a whole bunch of stuff you could do with this now. You could validate it whenever it's coming in, see what the heart rate is somewhere here. Or when you're calling that event from somewhere else, you could check what the heart rate is, or you could even get it from the widget. And you could maybe put up the text in red or something if it's too high, or play a sound, or check it on a collision or any other kind of game event to see what the user's heart rate is. Thank you very much for watching. If the coding was bad, if any part of this you didn't understand, you want me to go over it again, just ask me in the messages or email me. Uh, like, subscribe, and let me know if you want to see videos on anything else.